What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video with my buddy Nick. What's going on, brother? What's going on? How are you dude? doing? We'll, we'll act like you just walked in. Exactly, right? Just stepped in. Nick and I are gonna talk about how to look fly if you're a bigger guy. Now he looks fly already, that's point number one. But I feel like there's been a lot of comments on the channel, like that advice doesn't work for me. I'm too fat for this, I'm this and that, and I feel like it's just not true because I see Nick walking around looking fly every time I see him. Um, he's a photographer, videographer from LA, living in New York, dope ass dude, and we're gonna talk to him. And I wanna have you just start by telling me what are some of the limitations that you face because of your body shape? Well, I mean, as it goes, uh, nothing normally fits off the rack. You know, it just right. it just doesn't. I mean, for me specifically, I have a bigger back sometimes. Sometimes it won't fit my back and I'll feel like I'm gonna rip a shirt open. Right. Um, sometimes it won't close in the front and everything else fits fine. Same goes for the lower body. I have like a bigger thighs and kind of a smaller waist. I have like a 36 waist. Right. Where my legs are like more like a 38. So sometimes, for instance, on these pants, I have to size up on the waist so the legs can fit properly or vice versa, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, yes, you know, like you, you're a bigger guy, but your body is still unique, like for all of us. Like, I still have to go to the tailor every now and then, so that's, I feel like sometimes people use that as an excuse, oh, nothing fits me off the rack. Like, you have to make it work. It doesn't matter if it's slender or, or a little bit bigger. Yeah, I mean, right? everyone's pretty, uh, has a unique body, so just because you're big does, is an excuse to not go to the tailor, like you said, and really right. make sure your stuff looks clean, make sure it looks fresh. Like, there's always a way to do it, regardless yeah. of your size. Oh, yeah. So you brought three outfits with you today, so let's start just talking about them, see a few of the things that we run into. Outfit number one, what do you got for us? Perfect, so outfit number one is a super, super casual outfit. Um, one during warmer weather and just kind of in general, I really love camp collars or revere collars. Mm -hmm. um, so the top is an ASOS uh, revere collar, really, really, really light Trending fabric. too right now. Exactly, yeah, and it's a light fabric, so big guys, we always stay warm, so I'm very big on keeping things light, so it Got feels it. cooler, you know? So that's my top. Um, the bottom are express jeans that I've uh, distressed myself, so it slits in the knees, and then awesome. the bottom. I love yeah, yeah. prop pants, um, so I do it pretty much to all of my jeans. So I distress them myself, and then I finish it off with a pair of Basco, um, Penny loafers, black penny yeah. loafers, you know? Oh, yeah. Kind of different, kind of a little edgy, and it really took me a while to really embrace those loafers. But like I was explaining to you, I walked out the, the door the other day with this exact outfit, and a girl stopped me on the street and she goes, I really like your outfit. And I was like, that's what I want to hear. That's what <sighs> it's about. Thank you, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure, <laughs> yeah. you know? But I'm gonna go walk with a nice try now. So yeah. I feel really good about myself. That's so. awesome, man. I mean, I feel like you're always gonna have questions about your outfit, regardless of your body shape. Like, I, I walk around, I'm like, I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, I think that looks good, but it's nice to get a little bit of external validation, I guess, but like, at the end of the day, and I know this about you too, like, it's about internal validation first. Like, you gotta feel good in the outfit. Right? Absolutely, it's mentality. I, mean, I would say it's one of the biggest things about fashion for bigger guys too, or just anybody in general. It's really owning it. So yeah, you have right. to love of what you're wearing and own it. You know, if you're not sure about it, you're gonna feel kind of uneasy about it. You really, you put that outfit on, you have to be sure of it and kind of just own it. You know. Yeah. But with that outfit, for example, I feel like I've had guys say before, I can't wear crop pants mm -hmm. or crop jeans because yeah. you know I'm not that tall, and I feel like. I, I disagree. I mean, yeah. I, I love Thank showing you. off ankle. Uh, doesn't really matter like the time of year. I, I'm always cropping my pants. You know, it's really kind of my go-to thing nowadays. I don't necessarily think it it makes you shorter, or taller. Like I said, it's one of those mentality things. You have to really kind of own it. And I've owned it by literally cutting the bottom of every single pant I own. Yeah. Um, right or cuffing them. Save like money on the tailor. I'll tell you that much. Exactly. Exactly. So the outfits we're wearing right now, and I'm saying the outfits we're wearing, and kind of to illustrate a point here, right, is. We're wearing the same thing, basically. Yeah. You want to walk us through? Yeah. Um, yours, at least. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so my top, um, I'm wearing a nice, just plain white T-shirt. It's kind of fitted um, from Gap. Mm -hmm. um, this shirt. What size is that? This is XL. Okay. Yeah. So the shirt, um, over shirt, is XL as well, uh, from Gap as well. Gap is someone I like to shop at. Kind of know my style. So when I go there, I don't actually have to try anything on anymore. Yes. I just know what my sizes are. Cool. Um, bottom shirt. Sure. What's that? Is that it's a Gap as well. Both of yeah, them are both Gap. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Exactly. So that's one of your go what a, while we we're on that yeah. other go-tos. Yeah. Um, Gap is a big for me. J Crew, I really, really love, but sometimes it doesn't fit. You have to make sure you a get the classic too. fits right. instead of like the slim fits. Uh, Express, I wear a lot, so I'm Express jeans. I love the Express denim. It, it stretches, it flexes, yeah. it moves with you. So that's one of my favorite denims. Levi's as well, but there's only specific fits that I usually like. Okay. Five Eleven, Five Twelves, Banana Republic. I used to shop at. It's not always. Too 
too complimentary to my body, you know? It's a little too big and it's kind of like too airy sometimes with the XL fits. Got it. But yeah, so like I said, uh, Express Jeans. Um, and talk to me about the cuff here. I mean, obviously you're, yeah. they're not cropped, but you roll them up, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these specifically ones are, they're skinny instead of slims. The previous one were slims, so I okay. cut those ones. These yeah. are um, a skinny one that I sized up in just so it has a smaller taper. I love a smaller taper, especially if you, when you're wearing like boots or just something Sneak where you're- slim sneakers like yeah, you're wearing exactly. right now. But just like when it meets your boot, especially specifically, I like being able to have it go cohesive, especially opposed to like big and then kind of down, you know? So yeah. for the skinny ones, I keep them cropped. Like I said, I crop everything. Um, right. But these ones are from Express. And then just a simple white sneaker. I have a ton of these, Common Projects. These are- my favorite. How dare you? How dare you? I As I'm know. sitting here in my white Ankari Flores sneakers, Let's see what happened. A fraction of the cost. Happened was. <laughs> um, forgot it in my. It's, it's all right. I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> um, but I love just a plain white sneaker. That's one of the biggest things I think for big guys is keeping it simple. Right. You know, this is these are very simple pieces. Right. A denim shirt, denim pants, you know, and a plain white tee and white sneakers. But it's, it's not so just that though. You have a nice ring, a nice watch, gold exactly. chain, and a hat up top. That so. kind of brings me to my next point is accessories. I think mm. accessories are just kind of a subtle detail that people really notice and can appreciate, you know? If I took the hat off, the, the chain, the watch, and the ring, it would still be a great fit and very simple, but I think it very elevates simple. it yeah. just a little bit more when you add just a subtle touch of anything else. Right, you know? so expressing yourself. Doesn't matter, exactly. once again, doesn't matter the size. I feel, I feel like I try and make that point again and yeah. again because I feel like it just doesn't matter yeah. what yeah. size you are. You have to just find your right fit. Exactly. And uh, you know, like too skinny, too big, whatever, too tall, too short, is like an excuse if you say that's it. Yeah, accessories are one of those things too where it's like, accessories go with everyone. It's not like right. gonna fit on your arms and body, right. you know? You have no excuse to not have like a nice watch, you know? Yeah. Just make sure your watches kind of go with your outfit, you know? Hats, the same thing. Hats, one of those things you have to really own and you just kind of a mentality thing, you right. know? And same with the rings. It took me a while to figure out rings and see if I like them, but it's a nice subtle touch to have a ring that kind of matches your watch that goes with the chain, you know? It's yeah, not absolutely. like flashy and extravagant, but it's like that cherry on top. Yeah, right on. All right, so we went from very casual to semi-casual, like yes. a little bit more put together. Yes. To now, very dapper. Talk yes. to me about suiting. Suiting, so I'm not a suiting guy. Mm -hmm. Like that's not my thing. I. I it gets hot and you know, it's just like. So big guys, we run warm. Like that's right. our thing. So I try not to have like a ton of big layers on me and I feel like I'm always hot in suits. Even in, in the winter in New York? like I, We just run big. Yeah, yeah I mean run warm. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. You run big too. Right? We run big, we run warm. We're like always running something. Right. <laughs> um, but this suit, I like it. It's kind of a lighter fabric. It's a mix. And I, instead of like doing a button down t-shirt and with a tie or something like really formal, I kept it a lot cooler and really um, more me mm -hmm. and did a, a polo instead, button all the way top to make it look a little uh, more clean and then just kept it really simple with a plain white sneaker. You know, I don't think you need to really kind of go all the way out, but for that specific suit, I thought it would make sense for me to wear it with a polo instead of like a button down shirt, just a lot cooler. Where's that suit from? Alton Lane. So that suit's from Alton okay. Lane. It's a custom suit. Custom, custom as in like from head to toe. From like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, they do a full body scan nice. um, and really go from all out from obviously the lapels and the insides, you know, everything is custom. So I really love this suit, one of my favorite suits. And like I said, I really like a tapered fit on my pants. Mm. And so these are definitely a tapered fit. Right. Um, they run down and they're cuffed a little or yeah, hemmed a little high to really show off a little ankle and little shoe, you know? Yeah, um, you know, I, you know, I second that. Most exactly, of exactly. No, but I love what you did, like playing off the, off the blue in the suit and then basing it against the navy of the polo. And I think, I mean, that's what I think I'm, I'm glad we're having this talk yeah because like I always thought like not like literally just for like me understanding you and your style because I always thought Nick look fresh but it's nice knowing that you put a little DIY into it that you're like pay attention to the accessories pay attention to the details while staying true to himself like switching out a polo for the dress shirt yeah. and at the end of the day that's what I keep trying to help you guys figure out is like what is it that you like I try and show everybody options right yeah. so they can find themselves and express themselves in their own manner regardless of size. Yeah, I mean, I think it's about putting your own little flair on things and really, uh, like I said, putting that cherry on top. Like, even if I'm wearing a t-shirt and jeans, like, just to add a little pizzazz, mm. I'm gonna roll my sleeves on my t-shirts, you know, because that's making it look a little different, you know, it's not just a plain t-shirt. And I always kind of accessorize, make sure my watches kind of match and yeah. my chain and stuff like that and sunglasses. So if I'm gonna, uh, right. 
Not indoors though. No. Yeah. So if I'm gonna put you on the spot right now, one, maybe two phrases that you can tell guys out there that may be inclined to disagree with you right now, yeah. that you can inspire and motivate to just embrace themselves, what would it be? I would say the biggest thing and biggest hurdle to get over for bigger guys is mentality. I've tried to coach a couple of my friends who are a little huskier to embrace different things that I think are really simple. Right. For instance, like a denim jacket. I had a friend who was convinced he couldn't wear a denim jacket. I put him in the denim jacket, put him in a simple top, and put them in like basically this. Yeah, and I was right. like, okay, I can do this. You know, yeah, it's, nice. the biggest hurdle is mentality for nice. for me. I think the second is just be a little risky. You know, yeah. you know, try to yeah. take a risk. You know, um, you need to you need to step out of your comfort zone to develop. Exactly you in have, life. Exactly. Like. <laughs> oh, exactly. These are life lessons and as well as fashion lessons. You know, exactly. you have to get out of the comfort zone of things that you've been wearing. So that same pair of chinos, the same pair of jeans you've been right. rocking forever. Get something else, you know, try a different fit, you know, try a different outfit, you know, walk outside, see what you think, see what you feel, get some feedback, you know, but at the end of the day, it's like, if you're comfortable with how you look, and uh, I think that's just it right there. Go, yeah. bro. Thank you so much for of taking course. the time, of for course. flying all the way out here just for this video to Los it. Angeles. <laughs> Glad well, to be here. Good Glad talking to you. Absolutely. I hope you guys got inspired, learned a little something. I thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, stay dapper. I guess. Exactly. So I, like I said, I love. I was, I looking, I was looking at the uh, I outfit. I was no, like, no, what no, am I wearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, hold on. Give me a. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you, uh, a I'll give you that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Big guys, we run, we run, we run. <laughs>